Lex June's garage and what's going on Lex? Well a lot of people wanted to know what happened uh, when we were at the Gator Nationals. All the flame and fire and everything. So I wanted to explain a little bit what happened so uh, at least it will answer a lot of your questions. Uh, like this is a, a, a piston and part of a rod, uh, a connecting rod. Um, basically what happened here is that when we left the start line after within half a second this rod split. So uh, this is a complete rod and it's damaged as well but as you can see there is a part missing. So uh, that part that that broke, that went through the oil pan, causing a hole in the pan and getting the oil out of the, the engine and that catched fire. Uh, when this happened, it caught another rod, this one, this one broke and that basically, uh, the effect that what happened there is that it opened an intake uh, uh, valve which broke because the piston was hitting the valve and that was caused the, uh, the motor basically to backfire. That was the big explosion you saw in all the fire. It was basically uh, the fuel that's normally going into the engine that will make the power you, that just burned on the outside and that what caused uh, the, the big explosion and all the flames. Now it was just for a brief moment but uh, uh, NHRA really captured it really nice and it, it put it on a slow-mo and then you really could see what happened and, and, and the force it, it, it took and, and, and exposed, uh, telling you that nitromethane, you know, it's, it's, it's really explosive. There are some talks out there that we were running a different type of fuel, which was, I thought was pretty funny because they saw, people saw a green flame. Now the green, green flame basically came because piston was hurt, it's, it's scuffed, and that base, the aluminum and aluminum uh, pistons are made from aluminum and when uh, an aluminum uh, piston comes apart then you can see a green flame it was not a head gasket it was not hydrocene or whatever it was just a piston that came apart causing the the, the green flame coming out of the header so uh, it caused a lot of damage uh, it damaged the crank it was a really nice crank, but it's damaged. Uh, over there you can see a block, it's got a big hole in it. That's one of the reasons it, it caused the fire. You can see here it's a big, big hole. And that hole was caused by the fact that the rod was trying to come out here. Pushed a hole in the motor, so more oil was coming out of it, which caused uh, more fire. Uh, a lot of other stuff happened in here because the rods were going all the way and broke. It gave, went in here and it uh, it broke the camshaft. So that was another reason things were uh, were pretty explosive. Uh, this block basically is a write-off. You still can see a piston sitting in here. Uh, Every, everything is fixable, but to fix this, it's, it's basically too much money, so it's, it's a total loss. It's, uh, to fix this, will, uh, it will be easier to buy a, a new motor and, and, and start building again. But the bottom line is, yeah, uh, the block is, is basically done. Crankshaft, rods, pistons, camshaft, everything needs to be replaced. Uh, why it happened, what, I, what we can find out of all the, the carnage, it started with a rod that came apart. Why it comes apart, it's, it's got something to do with, with, with the quality of the part. So we made a decision to, to buy another brand of rod, so we are sure it won't happen again. Uh, it's, a, it's an expensive lesson, but it is what it is. And uh, the only thing you can do is uh, learn from what happened and, and move on. Um, so we are in the process to, uh, to uh, get one engine ready, that's already in the car. We uh, fixed all the, all the damage that was caused by the fire. Uh, there were a lot of plastic lines burned and some other uh, parts that needed to be replaced, but that's all done. And we are building another motor right now to have a spare one and, uh, and get ready for our next race, which probably will be the four white in Charlotte. And when things go well, we uh, we will uh, attend the next race in Atlanta. So for that, all, uh, all is coming back together again. And uh, yeah, it's something we don't want to do, but 
uh, I hate to do. I, it, it's all really nice parts, but it is what it is. And again, we need to learn about what, what went wrong. And so we make sure it won't happen again. Did you feel a lot of heat when that motor blew up? I, I was kind of curious. Uh, yeah, well, you know, when, when first, when the rod broke, it just pushed a hole in the oil pan, which, you know, I'm in front of the engine. You don't really see that type of fire. But when the, the burst panels came out, when it backfired, uh, then it's then it's become pretty warm also inside the cockpit because that, that flame will go uh, around you. So, uh, yeah, it's hot for a moment, but it's not really a problem. It's not the same like sitting in a funny car where you're behind the engine and you really get everything in your face. So for that, it's not too bad. It's more like... Uh, yeah, you know, it's, uh, you're not able to make the run and, and, and do what you want to do, but uh, yeah, sometimes uh, they, they, they call it a hot seat, so for that uh, it was a hot seat. <laughs>